morning, Glasgow. It would have been an even better morning had I not had this wretched cold, which I know you can hear in my voice. I'm actually pretty glad that I still have a voice, but never mind. We're going to make the best of being here, my very first time in Scotland and my very first place to visit in Scotland. Yesterday was a beautiful, if frosty, but very sunny day and I explored the botanical gardens very close to this really amazing Airbnb flat where I've been staying for the weekend. I've also met my second cousin who is born and raised in England, but who has lived here up in Scotland for a couple of decades now. And it's Sunday, my second day in Glasgow. I'm going to go back to Kelvin Grove Museum and Art Gallery, where I spent the afternoon yesterday with my cousin. And I'm going to show you a bit more around the city. I might, however, change my regular format for the vlogs that I make for my YouTube channel, just because it might be a bit of a torment for both you and myself to keep using this <laughs> voice today. just listened to what we've recorded so far and to be honest it doesn't sound half as bad as I expected it to. <laughs> On Friday when I went to work with this oh just completely destroyed throat and everything one of my colleagues my department colleagues said it was actually a pretty sexy sultry voice so I don't know I might reconsider my strategy for the day if things don't change when I go out there in the wintry air. We'll see and think about it. What can I say? The sun came out and I had a change of heart. Despite it being, or feeling at least, even colder than yesterday, I don't care. It is so beautiful. So I came back to the Botanic Garden, this amazing place where I started my exploration of Glasgow yesterday. This flat where I'm staying with Airbnb is just five minutes walk away from the Botanic Garden. And as you will be able to see in all the footage I'm going to give you from here, it's such an amazing place to be. Just as I arrived and I set up for recording this, a dad and his son were playing in a pile of leaves here. A couple were feeding the pigeons, which maybe you can see behind me on that glass house because that's where they keep the palm trees. So it's really warm inside. And I think the glass warms as well. So the pigeons just like to hang around up there. There are two kids here playing football on the frozen grass. It just feels like a proper winter wonderland if I'm allowed to use another cliche. I'm sure that visiting here in summertime would be quite nice too, but I would personally recommend you the experience of the Botanic Garden in Glasgow in winter. Just look around us. All of the frost on the grass, on the vegetation, on the benches here. Then the glass houses just displaying all their beauty in the winter sun. Then the crisp cold air just engulfing you all around. And then you step inside the glass houses. The difference between the cold winter air outside and the embracing warmth of the temperature inside the glass houses is just amazing. It's just what makes the winter experience so much better. When I got here yesterday in, the, in this particular building, my reaction was like, wow, I think I died and I went to heaven. That's exactly what I texted my partner Adrian with the first photos from this beautiful display of colors, 
of different shapes of flowers. I've spent a couple of hours just exploring and looking at the orchids. Then further down, the cacti, which are particularly my favorites as well because of all their shapes, geometrical shapes, their spikes which might feel nasty but they look quite interesting. Then further down the palm house itself, there's a tropical jungle right in the heart of Glasgow. What can be more wonderful than that? better about both the Glasgow Botanic Gardens and Kelvin Grove Museum and Art Gallery where we're going next is that they both free to visit. Obviously a small donation helps. Now I myself am currently a member with a subscription to the National Trust but in the future when I come back here I will consider making a donation. Also, the Botanic Gardens are open every day, all year round, with the only difference that in winter they close at 4.15. Now, if you visit Glasgow, I could recommend just stay on the West End, like I did. It's full of lots of quirky places, such as this Oran Moor here, just across from the Botanic Gardens. Oran Moor is this former church that's been converted into a center with a theater, a pub and a cinema. It's past three o'clock in the afternoon. The weather is getting even more freezing, but miracle, my voice is hanging on. It's actually doing pretty well, which I am very pleased with. It means that I haven't tormented either you or me so much today. Now I am in front of finally Kelvin Grove Museum and Art Gallery, just this beautiful building behind me two steps away from Glasgow University. If you are a museum geek, just like me, I can guarantee you will love this place. There's so much to see inside from Glasgow Boys paintings, Scottish art, which has its own beauties and peculiarities, then some cubist art, a lot of also contemporary art, some Macintosh design, and the big entry hall displays a beautiful organ where sometimes recitals happen as well. Now before I run inside and try to warm myself up, there's one more aspect that I wanted to talk about. I've noticed here very similar light to the one in Denmark. If you have seen my vlogs from January 2019, you might know what I'm talking about. If not, just go back and maybe take a peek. It seems that the more you advance north, this happens because the light falls at the most slanted angle towards the ground. It gains this quality, this beautiful ember shine, 
Now, long story short, I feel that my brain is freezing and my words are getting all mumbly and lost. So let's go inside, warm up and admire some art. And this is where my two days first Scottish adventure finishes. Back in Glasgow Central Station, catching the train to Wolverhampton tonight. Thank you for lasting with me together with my voice, which also lasted all through today, despite the cold weather. I think it's the very first vlog that I'm doing in a very croaky voice from one end to the other. I hope you still enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, remember to give me thumbs up, also to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And until next time then, ciao for now, I've got a train to catch.